Greetings and welcome to the Fan Perspective. I'm your host Nathan Nile and this is WNBA Weekly, the show where twice a week, usually on Mondays and Fridays, I talk about things that have happened recently in the association and things I'm looking forward to in the upcoming days. So, what ga the games that have been played this weekend, there was a lot of excitement. First of all, on Friday you have Bentley going for 31 points as Connecticut hands the Mystics a stunning loss. And then you have the Fever, they're forcing a lot of turnovers, scoring a lot of points. They end up destroying the Dream, Atlanta losing their six straight. You have Epiphany Prince going off for 30 points at the Liberty Hand the Sky, another devastating home loss. And then you've got the Mercury with four players in double figures as they grab their fifth straight win. Saturday, Gia Perkins goes off for 32 points as the Stars hold home court, defeating the St Storm, handing their Seattle their fifth straight loss. And then on Sunday, you had a lot of great action. Most of it was on TV, if you got to see it. You have Della Don. She took a bit of a spill in the f uh, first half, but she comes back. She finishes the game with 33 points, leading the Sky to a commanding home victory. And then you have Taylor Hill coming off the bench for 20. Dolson with 21. The two of them leading the Mystics to a win. And then you've got Raquana Williams going off for 35 points. She's been having a big season since Skyler went down. And she's become a good leader for them, but just, just not enough. The Dream have five people in double figures, and they're able to hold on for the win. Tulsa Shock have now lost nine consecutive games. That's nine consecutive losses. That's a lot. And then you have the Lynx. They have four players in double figures, led by 21 for Maya Moore. They're able to end their winning streak, grab a decisive home win against the Sparks. And so they win the season series. And you know, they, they are able to hold on to first place in the Western Conference. And so now, moving on to the games being played this week. Of course, uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll tell you which ones are being broadcast nationally for the rest of it. You know, check out the, you know, check your local listings to see what's available in your area, or you can catch every single one of these games on WNBA Live Access. And don't, also don't forget that I'm going to say all of these in Eastern Standard Time, so make sure to adjust for your time zone. There are only games on two days this week. You've got Tuesday and Wednesday. First of all, on Tuesday, Chicago at New York at 7 p.m. on NBA TV. And the Liberty, right now, this is a chance to really get a more secure footing on first place. They've already got a good, li they've already got some good leverage, but this is a, a place, this is where they can really, re truly separate themselves from the pack because they've already grabbed two win against the Sky in Chicago. If they win here, not only does it give them another game between the two, but they win the season series. And Chicago... Now they're like they're nine and three at home right now. They're 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 hard to defeat in Chicago. They've only lost three times. Two of those were to New York. So now playing in the Garden, you know where the, the sky they're under five hundred on the road. So it looks like this is gonna be like the win for New York to really seal their place in first. Like not they still have to keep winning after that, but this gives them just a lot more breathing room. Then you've got Indiana at Washington at seven p.m. You've got San Antonio and Minnesota at 8. And then you've also got Seattle at Los Angeles at 10.30 p.m. on NBA TV. And then on Wednesday, you've got Tulsa at Connecticut. That one's at 7 p.m. And Tulsa, I mean, Connecticut's still trying to fight back into the playoffs, whereas Tulsa, they are barely hanging on to a playoff spot right now. But, I mean, you've lost nine straight games, and honestly, it looks like they could possibly lose their tenth straight, and yet they're still in the playoffs. That shows you how well they started the season, that you can lose this many games in a row and still be in the playoffs. Lucky for them, they're in the Western Conference. And then you've also got Seattle at Phoenix, that one at 10 p.m. on NBA TV. And so, that's it for this edition of WNBA Weekly. Sorry, it's kind of short. But tune in on Thursday for another brand new episode. And until then, this has been the Fan Perspective. I'm your host, Nathan Nile. Have a great week.